Coach, thank you very much for joining us. Congratulations, a, a nice win here tonight over a good St. Albert ball club. Yeah, I tell you what, Jeff, uh, thanks for that. But, uh, St. Albert's really defended us well tonight. Did a good job taking their wings away, and they're really physical with us. And it was a well-played game by them, and we had to challenge ourselves, and we came up with a nice win. What did you guys do differently uh, down there early in the first quarter? You kind of took control of the game in the second quarter. Did you change anything up, or was it just the guys kind of getting into the rhythm and figuring out what St. Albert was doing? Well, that was the thing. In the, you know, in the first first quarter, we were able to get out in the flow and transition, get some buckets, and then when uh, we when we were getting some stops, and then what happened was we weren't getting stops, and uh, we weren't getting in transition. They were making us run our offense, and we weren't running our offense very good. And... Uh, they really struggled getting into our offense. We, they denied our wings and really jammed us on the cut and uh, just made it difficult. And our points really struggled tonight getting a set. But uh, we figured it out, uh, ran some different plays, switched some things up, and uh, got the W. Coach, you get the tempo where you wanted it to tonight? We did, and uh, I give St. Albert's a lot of credit there. They did a good job taking our transition away on the, on the sidelines. And our bigs were still were struggling being rim runners and getting our five-man to run to the block. Uh, you know, if Sam's you know a little slow yet, so he's not being able to run down there quick. And you know, tonight St. Albert took our sideline away, so they did a good job. What'd you tell the guys at halftime? But the energy level a lot higher, I thought, to start that second half than yeah. what it was in the in the second quarter, even. Yeah, we were a little discouraged in the first half with our effort. I mean, defensively we we talked, but then we subbed. We played a lot of guys, but we really dropped off when we subbed, and we shouldn't. I and mean, these kids are capable to play, and um, our energy level in the second half was really good. We challenged them. Uh, we just told them on offense to slow down a little bit and run offense, be patient. And uh, we were rushing some things early, and I thought we did a good job. And St. Albert's, again, would switch from man to zone, and I thought we figured out the zone, ran some sets, got Cole going. Cole got some nice drives along the baseline, got it started, got a nice dunk and transition. And then they went to man, we were able to capitalize and uh, get Cole some more buckets. How big were those two buckets at the end of the first quarter and the one right there at the end of the half as well? Yeah, uh, it's always nice to score there, and then we were struggling, and they cut it to three, and then Alex Gunnarsson on the run out gets a layup at the buzzer, and that was huge to put us up five. Coach, what happened there right there at the beginning of the second half? You guys had a little conversation in front of the scorer's table. It looked like something maybe with the possession here. Well, yeah, they, uh, somewhere in the second quarter, uh, we made the refs made a mistake and gave, uh, the arrow was wrong and gave us the ball, and we agreed that it should go to St. Albert's. Um, I was just I was just trying to steal one. Um, <laughs> I knew there wasn't a jump ball in the second quarter, and so it should have been St. Albert's ball. I was just checking to see if we could steal one there. Best uh, best half of the season here so far tonight. Uh, in the second half. Second half was nice. Uh, made a nice run. And, uh, you know, we played we played pretty well in the second half against Carolina too. I mean, you could see the the parity in the, in the Hawkeye ten. St. Albert's come in as a nice nice uh, addition. They're a nice ball club. And same with Clarenda. Both these two teams we face is going to win a lot of games in our league. Coach, probably one area tonight you'll point at uh, free throws. I think I had you 15 of 27 or something tonight. Uh, not not very good. And you know what? It's not from the lack of shooting them. We spent a lot of time actually last night, this morning before school, shooting them. We don't have our legs yet, and that's going to be something that uh, is going to come. We're going to keep working at it. Uh, we did preach that and turn it over the basketball. We gave some easy possessions to them. Uh, we got to take care of the basketball, and when we do bang it inside, we got to make our free throws. Coach, uh, Lewis Central now on Friday night, another big test here early in the season. Yeah, it doesn't get any easier. Uh, Coach Miller does a great job. He's got those kids playing well. Uh, they had a nice win against Sioux City East, and they're going to come in here with a chip on their shoulder. We got them twice last year, and they're going to want to give us their best effort. And I think we're going to get a lot of teams' best effort this year. And our kids are going to have to get better from this game till tomorrow. And we got to get better in practice tomorrow, and then we got to get better in practice on Thursday to get ready for LC. All right, tell you what, Coach. Congratulations. Nice win tonight. Best of luck coming up later this week. Appreciate it, Jeff. Thanks, Head Coach.